Hey everyone, this is Rasko, and welcome to the re-upload of part 23 of Another Century, episode R. Uh, in the last part, we managed to get a little more story. We're going to face off all of the uh, bosses, uh, spring, summer, autumn, and, well, winter. The final level is a goddamn boss rush. Uh, the so yeah, the previous one, we did a full way back to another dimension somehow once. Still wondering how the bloody hell that's possible. Anyways. So, yeah. Um, spring, in the last part, if you guys managed to watch it, if you didn't, uh, quick little summary. Um, Winter decided to try and use uh, Spring 1 as a kamikaze device. Yeah. I'm not kidding. Uh, it didn't turn out too well because Kiro managed to stop it. But yeah, um, Winter doesn't give a shit for his uh, allies, and there's plenty of proof of that. So my team in this is Alto Satome, Satome from Across the Frontier. Uh, I was about to say Kira, but uh, Athrin, uh, not Athrin, Amuro Ray in the New Gundam version, in the High New Gundam, I should say, not version called the High New Gundam, the High New Gundam. Um, then we have also Autumn 4, who's our support character. Now, <laughs> I completely forgot how to play this game originally, so if I start sucking out of nowhere, I have only myself to blame because I have not touched this game since the last time I LP'd it. Yeah, there's some games I really don't go back to often. Because once it's done, it's done, really. Now, in order to really have an easy time against Summer here, uh, you have to take out the threads onto on his tank here here you have okay that screen right there we just saw a player uh, then uh, uh, you have player support one and support two Amuro's support is his funnels which are overpowered any character that has thin funnels or funnel support or anything like that something that causes extra weapons to be on screen is broken as shit because if you look at the bottom right bar uh, there's your health your allies health and you know your allies health um, in this case Amuro's fin funnel and under that is something called the tension bar the tension bar is used to uh, increase your special attacks uh, tension attacks special attacks that cause uh, that co not cause cost something to use attention two t attention bar two or, or three depending on how powerful it is the more tension it needs now Amuro's uh, uh, fin funnels increase since you're the way you increase tension is that you have to uh, hit the enemy so what you do you just shoot hold down your primary fire button and the fin funnels will shoot for you you increase your tension by attacking enemies, taking damage, blah blah blah. The fin funnels cause extra damage, cause an extra attack. Yeah, that's going. That's gonna. Okay, now that you've got him immobilized pretty much by the threads, because he destroyed the threads, his chest is completely easily exposed. Yeah. I shouldn't be using that one. I should be using uh, the other tension, which is. Um, he fires off a bunch of volleys of quick fire, uh, rapid succession fire of bullets and missiles, which is his better tension. And as you can see, this is why I, I mentioned this back in one original LP. This is why I refuse to go down the Gundam path. Look at this. Just because I managed to use the Amaro spin funnels ability, I managed to beat this boss in record time. Believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, this part is actually a little longer, but only because I because I completely forgot how to play. But not by much, mind you. It's not even a minute longer. It's about... Uh, yeah, it's, uh, give it about a minute longer, but still. Oh. Wow. That's slow. Yeah. That was low. So yeah. 
Yeah, he doesn't need sympathy from the enemy. Also, they call us humans irregulars because... Or, I should say, Autumn 4 irregulars because she's irregular. She's not fighting alongside them, she's fighting with us. If you go back to part one, you'll see why this happens. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, originally, I did try to sub the into English, but um, that took too long. And then again, there are things that I will miss mix up because you know I don't know Japanese that well. I did try my best. I will admit that right now, I did try my best. So yeah. And this game is... Now, if you play the game just through basic missions, through all the mission, through one mission, and just call it a day, this game could easily be bitten within five hours. Five to six hours. Yeah, it's not a long game. But, if you decide to go through every play, every story mode, you know, Zeta Gundam, Macross Frontier, Macross Zero, uh... Evangel- uh, not Evangelion, <laughs> I wish. Code Geass, um... What is it called? Um... Sosei no Aquarion, the Genesis of Aquarion. Um... Super Dimensional Orgus, yes, there's also Orgus in there. Uh... Full Metal Panic. You know, if you decide to go through all of them, you know, like you go through every one of them, it's going to take a ton, a shit ton time. <coughs> because there is an RPG element that allows you to upgrade characters and the mechs. So yeah, there's... is something... Go fuck yourself for calling us that, by the way. So this battle took a little longer than usual because I kind of screwed up. Because, you know has been a while since I played so the part is a little longer than the original but only because I'm an idiot I should really replay some of these games once in a while just to keep my skills up to date so yeah yeah she's autumn one which is the girl with the pinkish hair there um pinkish red hair or should I say just red hair, actually? She's just redhead. She's a dark redhead. Um, she's... I want to say love struck from before winter, but I don't think that's even the right word to use. I think she just wants to follow winter no matter what. But, you know, winter's a crazy psycho, which doesn't give a shit for his allies. Uh, you'll see what I mean by the end of this part. Oh. So, of all the seasons, I'm not gonna lie, that's what I call the bosses, I call them the seasons. Autumn, spring, winter, summer. They're seasons. They're the seasons. So, autumn is actually the most annoying one. And I completely forgot how to fucking play. The controls are actually reversed. Um, <clears throat> come on. Yeah, was you're supposed to do is try to get to the back of her and hit her there. Ow, 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 ow. Uh, if you go out of the combat zone and last too long out there, come on, I'm trying to get up as fast as I can. No, I shouldn't be just using the gun. No, I shouldn't have done that one. I should have just done the square button. Now, by pressing um, L1, when I'm switching in between these uh, normal weapons, these tension attacks, and my partner attacks. <laughs> uh, that's annoying. Technically, you what you should be doing when... The oh, shit. Yeah, she has a lightsabers. Lightsaber claws. It's a giant crab. It reminds me a lot of the Aegis, but a lot more sophisticated. The Aegis Gundam from the original Gundam Seed. So, with Autumn, what you're supposed to do is... I mentioned this in the original um, part when you fight her. Every time she swings her claws, 
you're to actually uh, hit that claw. Ow. She swings her claws. Her claws are going to become vulnerable after a point. Uh, each time you defeat a claw, you're supposed to defeat a new set of claw. The more the more time you damage her, the more claws that come out to cause this thing to go berserk. Oh shit. Yeah. This is what I mean, like. Yeah, I believe we defeated three. Or, and now she's going to transform. What the hell's happening? What the fudge? Yeah, if you bounce into the enemy, it won't hurt you, per se. Like, it won't, like, cause damage. It'll just push you back. Which is the annoying thing when fighting a giant boss like this, because you're trying to get behind him. Ooh, barely made it through that. Come on, go down. Again, I did the wrong thing. I should have just done tension two. The e the uh, square. So now I believe you have to destroy all four claws. So the reason this is longer is because I was an idiot. <coughs> now I believe this is a bad idea. I believe Autumn Four. What she does here is that she cuts her own HP to a certain degree to heal all other party members besides herself. Now, it's not a bad idea, but it's not the world's best idea either. Now, if you've noticed, there were there was a different type of lock on screen. There's a reverse triangle, which is what we have right now grayed out. Then there's that golden triangle we saw, kind of. Ooh. Yeah, she's going berserk right now. Ow. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, um, there are three types of lock-on. There's the grayed out area, which is you're not going to hit anything, or you're barely going to do any damage. Then there's that, this golden one, like, right here. And then there's this orange one right here. The orange one is melee attacks. Yeah, you're going to cause melee, this is the range, it says that you're perfect for melee attacks. One, two, three, and there it is. Now, if you're hit by that claw attack, she can grab you sometimes and fling you around. So be careful of that. No, nope, we had to defeat three. <clears throat> and here comes the end. So, it, the best idea I can give you is always be in front of her. Then once she's about to do an attack, move. This is the best way to taunt her into causing her to attack and her backside to be exposed. Ow. Ow what the fuck? She's not usually like this. This this was new, actually. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah, those don't really hurt. They stun more. Yeah, here's this where I say, fuck it, dead. Yeah. <laughs> you just saw me use that tension, too. Tension attacks are ver more powerful variants of attacks that you can usually do, like firing missiles or firing your cannons or whatever. They're more powerful versions of those. <coughs> Excuse me. What the f- Yeah, Winter just killed, the um, Autumn. This guy gives no shit. Winter is the kind of villain that just uses everyone and only fights when he needs to or when he believes he can win. Not when he has to. Yeah, he's a big fucking dick. So there's nothing more I can say about Winter that hasn't already been said throughout this entire LP. And we learn more about Winter in the next part. Yeah, he made a bomb in her and caused her to her machine to explode and as well kill Autumn 1. Wow! Yeah, this guy deserves to fucking die now. Yeah, really, he does. God damn. Anyways, this part's going to end, so join me next time for the next part. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you, have a good day or night, and take care, ladies and gentlemen. Hope to see you in the next part, and hope to see you guys starting next week for that new LP. So, see you guys then, and hope you guys enjoyed this re-upload. Thanks for watching, take care, ladies and gents. 
たの思い通りにはならない。